welcome back. Basically, we're going to be talking about a process. How do we choose what to put where? A lot of times, it's just like everything in life. It's what you have, and you use what you have. We don't throw stuff away. You can see all these little pieces and parts here. Uh, you just never know when that, that is going to be the exact one that you are going to need. All of our little stamped things, some of these are from the Cricket. Cricut, and some of these are just from purchase stamps. Now, I haven't used the butterfly yet, but I have fully intend to. And just a little quick aside here, this is just a sticky note, and a lot of times you don't know how to hold on to that, whatever it is that you're adding with the Posca markers. But if you stick that to the edge, then later on, comes off nicely. Comes off nicely. Doesn't no no fuss, no muss, and you don't have to worry about your fingerprints making a big mess. All oh, right. That being said, I think you can see in here. Oh, there's one other thing I want to talk about before I went on. Okay. Start. You're going to start after this video. You're going to start looking at everything in a different light. This particular <laughs> was taken from a Ghirardelli. I don't know how you say that. I, I don't really care. Fancy but chocolates. anyway, they're really good. <laughs> Fancy chocolates. Fancy chocolates. And we just stamped out parts of the, the, we saved the bag. Another one in here is from, I think, here, I'm getting it. I got it here, here, is from the envelope. I don't want other credit card people. But they have really good. Here. Oh, yeah, look. Here. See that little edge right there? Just a little tiny little bit, bling bling. And that, that's what, and this is stuff is just so awesome. I'm sure you could probably purchase this, but why would you want to do that when you can just save an envelope? I would probably cut out the, you know, which one it came from. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have to start paying oh, royalties or... Yeah. <laughs> All right, you can see here, and you can see here and here. Those are those lovely little pieces of repetition that you need. And also on the edge here, this particular paper, and I can just tell you because I can see, you can see the brush strokes. So this is some of our handmade paper. This is a little stamp that you're supposed to use on the edge of things, and it's, you know, it's really a lovely idea. But in reality, it's kind of hard to decide where that little booger's going to go. You can see it again right here. So we just take advantage of that and it's again a repetition the little dots border, here. border stamper thing yeah the border stamper thank you Mark. it was just it really works out well here you know just kind of on the edge repeats the little dots and, and we even and keep the little dots that they're they're maddening but they're, they're almost like little jewels depending on what you've stamped <laughs> yes and you can see those are used in the middle there with the tiny little bit of you can see the bling bling glitter on them. All right, before we go on, I want to talk a little bit about this edge here around here, and you can see it doesn't go all the way. This was a piece. This was, I don't know, we stamped something else out of this, this part here, but we kept this, and that edge it is just exactly what we needed to make this card just come alive. Because you don't, I mean, if you're going to cover up something, then take that out because you can use that later. There's no sense in that. would be silly because the, the background itself, we can use that other section on something else. Exactly. And this is another, I can just tell you because um, how it feels in the, again, it's the Mod Podge is wonderful because it's just enough sticky that when you sprinkle that glitter on, let me run my finger across. Oh no. Now, here, this is a good point. I'm glad that happened. And then use the glue. You need to use the glue because this the sticky adhesive stuff is not going to do it on this rougher rougher surface uh, with the glitter on. It's just not going to stick. So, okay, that goes back to the drawing board. This is another example of some of the paper that we created with the glitter and whatnot, and I'm sh pretty sure, I don't know, that may have been from some of our, it is, it's, the, it's one of these negative from this, we kept the bar, and this is also one of the papers that we created with 
the Mod Podge and the um, just having a I don't I don't I'm not sure if this was one of the sparkly backgrounds. I think so. I think it was with the silver. Maybe with the silver. Because it started paint. out as like the snowflake. Okay, exactly. This was the this was the paper, mm -hmm. and this is what it became. And then we even added additional inking to the snowflakes to then bring back in and repeat the colors from that background because it was just the silver. Yeah. Okay, there you go. What do you do? All right, this is another one that I wanted to talk about. And Mariah, can you find me the one that we just that I did just the other day? Uh, on, on our homemade gold paper. Yeah. I think you just pho photographed it. All right, this is this this particular one is came in a multi-pack. Now this one is one that I just made the other day using our paper. And if you kind of see, if you turn it, and it's really hard to photograph because the gold doesn't come through, but I think you can see that when you twist and turn it, you can get a little bit of shimmer there. And probably in my next ones, I would leave more of that showing, showing, actually open, okay? These are just Yupo. You see the glitter has migrated a little bit. We've got a little bit on the edges there. The glitter stuff's hard to get rid of once you get it. Now you have to talk about the sizing of the oh, glittering. Oh, oh. Yes, all right. The little Thank piece you. That's, that's, that's what I have Mariah here for. Just help me remember. Okay, this is just this is what it started out as. Because we struggled with. Yeah. And underneath these, you can see they're they're a little bit. They have that tape that elevates them slightly and makes it a little bit more three-dimensional. I, I really I like that. Plus the fact that they're called bubble letters. You can actually get a font that just does that. We just made our own up from this because that's what we had. This is on photo paper. Well this is what you wanted. Yeah this is what I wanted. It didn't necessarily. Yeah. I, I usually I tell Mariah what I want and she's my facilitator. I, I know what I want. I don't need, always know how to get there. <laughs> But I think these are really adorable, and I want to talk a little bit about the paper and the choice of the paper. You can see this paper, the edges. I just thought it was absolutely wonderful. But now look at this lovely surprise. Are you ready? Yeah, okay, there's a little bit of incongruity here. Thought that was a little busy, so we just used some of our wonderful oh, we've had it for years. transparent green, green uh, that Mariah had lying about. Who knows? It's probably older. Well, we know it's older than her daughter. Yeah. So, those are the choices there. And I think this is interesting. You see the positive and negative here? The, these pieces here came from this piece. So, and these pieces here came from this piece. Like P-I-E-C-E, -E, not P-E-S. <laughs> okay. And you will notice that this here is some more of our paper. Can you see the glitter glitter? Our paper that we used with the Mod Podge and just cut out. I just hand cut those letters out and went around them. Okay. Now we're going to actually go through. Oh, I, I do want to talk about sources. And I, I really, I should be getting some kind of uh, remuneration for Tuesday morning. So I, no, I talk about them at least once during every video. But uh, seriously, check this place out. Because these little papers are, are absolutely, they're wonderful. If you just need a little little bit of something. Oh, even on the, oh, we'll show at the end there. That's some of that paper. Yes, at the end. Help me remember. I, I like this because sometimes I think our stuff is a little bit rustic. And this paper speaks to me of age. And, and not so refined. They're very rothko -y. Yes, very rothko -y. That's a good one, Rothko, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mariah. And some of these are appropriate. Love that. I wish there was a whole book of <laughs> yes. that. I, I don't know why we keep going to that aqua. And I've already used all the aqua from this one here. Yes. See this page here? We've already used all that up. Every little tiny piece. I think there might be some scraps left, but that would be about it. And these are just 
wonderful. And there's one, okay, I showed you the piece one. Now, Mariah actually printed this as an overlay. But that's what's wonderful about some of these, is that this side is this, and then you go to the inside. This was a particular one, a beach series, I think. Yeah. And I'll, I'll show you some more of that beach series here in a minute. Sometimes they just have white on the inside, which that's a good thing too, because then you've got a place, a nice place to put your message, your personal message. All right, here we go. So, pieces and parts. I'm going to put this over here. This is one of the printing, from the printing video the other day. And I laid these colors out here because this is the process that I go through when I decide what to map my card on. The considerations are also, if you go really, really dark, then you're going to have to plan to put an insert in. Because I'll, unless, you know, I suppose someone could use silver ink on the inside. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, these little pieces, and I love this little piece, I think you, if you really look at it you'll recognize it's from <laughs> it's from one of the piece ones but this may just be that little tiny bit of bling bling that you need at the edge oh see that looks just wonderful that that's really i love that and then you can print your we have some more of this so we could have them but the thing that's nice about these is you can get these out and you can go oh let me see how about that how about that rather than going over to the drawer and pulling out a whole bunch of full sheets which you then mess up because you just throw them aside. I, I never have time to put anything away. This That's place would, yes, this place would look like an explosion if I didn't have my daughter. All right, so you look at that, and I don't hate that, but I don't love it. And this is picking up a little bit, but I think it's a little bit too turquoisey, a little bit too light in value. I'm still going back to this, this dude right here, and I'm just like, praying to the universe that we have some more of that someplace because I definitely think that that is it. All right, so the yellow. I, I really, I don't, I like the yellow. It's got a, some shimmer, helps pick up some of the gold that's out there. It's quite lovely. And did you notice, look at the difference there. Okay, now we've gone from warm to cool. So this is emphasizing. It's also, I think, bringing out more of the lime green. So I might use a tiny edge of that but what I'm really, and I, I totally decided, I pulled this out because I thought, oh, we got some of that going on. Nah, that's nah, just boring and horrible. And I look at this, and here's my problem with this. The value of this is just too, they're too close. So, I either need a darker edge, which I'm thinking this, with this. And look at that. All of a sudden, you've got a pop there. Right Scoot this out to the edge, and I've, you can imagine, this is going to be my card. And this is what... Now you can kind of bring in probably one of those ones at the top there to show that we've kind of broken pieces up or how much edge that we've used of the actual one. Ah, yes, good point. All right, on this one, you can see not very much edge. On this one a lot and it's you know a lot of it has to do with just practicality of what it fit, what fits in what kind of envelope oh I really wished I had some more of that look at how good that looks <laughs> hmm. well okay well I know how to make that I can do that I can do that I can do that all right um, very quickly, I think you understand this process. I did want to show you one more example. You know, I'm just going to talk about this while I've got it here. Because I, I love these cards. And the only thing that I did on these cards... <laughs> these piles of... I, I made... I, I, I put them all in a little thing like this, and I handed them to Mariah, and I said, Mariah, these this is what I want to go together, but I, I, I'm tired of messing with it. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> And so she fixed it. But look, see, there's the inside of that. Isn't that lovely? We did have a we did have a quandary on whether to. Oh, this is some of that from that one. All right, Mariah and I've talked about this card, and one of the reasons that you know hesitate showing it, but I think we should. It's funny. I'm not loving this. The snowflake is the only thing I see. Why? Because all the rest of them are sort of in the same value range, 
and I know it does pick up a little bit here but I think we need I'm not sure what yet but it, it's not a finished card <laughs> or at least it was yeah. until five seconds ago uh, yeah okay yes and so here's the inside now this would probably require another one of those we have transparent inserts that you can put in here and we, we'll make or another that. panel yes I don't know if these require need, extra postage anyway we need to this is true okay I this this needs to go back to the I'm, I'm working on it God. okay now I just uh, for you people that do the cricket and Mariah should be the one okay the only thing I did on here was can you see this in the background Mariah what did we do with those pieces that we cut out okay showed these in an earlier video but now you can see this is cut out on the Cricut it requires a new blade and heavy-duty the edges no the setting on the Cricut the setting on the Cricut is what we're talking about okay oh I you know I just absolutely love it look at that nice little texture that you've got going on there that little glimmer I know so I this is some of the, the paper that we make Yes, and you can sit, tell by the edges here because that's what's stuck to the my horrible my yoga mat over here that I use for my. And some of it we ink, and then some of it yeah, comes in a, really handy for this sort of stuff. Yes, and you can also just use your regular hand stamps to stamp from this. But this this is good stuff. Good stuff. All right, here's one more, and I think you can see again this background paper came from that one of those little books. And th this is really funny because this particular tree here evolved because Izzy was carrying it around and kind of messed it up and whatnot and picked it up off the floor and just started messing with it. But that's alcohol ink with the glitter on it. And this is one, I'm not sure if that was from an original paper or if it was just some others, but you can see the UFO here. And this is Yupo here. And then I even Oh no, this is this is no, some more of paper. the same kind of paper. The handmade paper. It's and those were supposed out. to go back together, but they drove every both mom and I crazy because Yeah. We couldn't get them back together. So I decided to do them differently. And use just the little pieces and parts. So. Yeah, which probably came out better anyway. You you have that nice effect of and I should point out here that, you know, Mariah spent time doing that edge. There. Oh, those scissors. These Perfect. right here Vision. have been instrumental. <laughs> yeah. Instrumental. See that nice irregular edge there? You know, most of those are just, and what I like about these is, you know how when, some, when you're cutting along, you have to then match that cut up and it's like you're struggling to get in there and whatnot. Doesn't matter on these dudes. You just go in and do it. And then we take the really awesome deco Whiskers, paper edges. Oh yeah. Okay, if you're gonna buy, buy Marvy. And that's our cue. Okay. It was awesome. Hope it we was learned awesome. something. <laughs> Ask questions. You know, say, whoa, you didn't cover something there. I, I want to know more about this. And we would just be absolutely tickled beyond belief to respond. All right. See you later. Bye.